Okay, so now we're going to show you how to use the different methods we've been talking about in the class for drawing line segments uh, or polygon boundaries in specific distances or directions. So here I am in ArcGIS Pro. I've gone to the Edit tab, and I've gone ahead and opened my Create Features pane, as you can see over here. So I'm going to draw in, say, a new sewer line. So I'm going to go over here to the Create Features pane, select the Draw tool for creating a line under the Sewer Lines feature template. Come down here into my map where I'm going to want to draw the line and click my starting location. And now if I want to say uh, specify the length of the line, I'm going to move in the general direction of where that line is going to go. Then right click and I can choose distance. So this is going to allow me to specify the distance of the line. Notice it's already populated with the value and that's based on how far I moved from my starting point out to where I right clicked. And so if I know that this line, this new sewer line I'm supposed to be creating is exactly 250 feet, I can go ahead and specify that uh, in there, hit enter to accept that. And now you can see as I move my mouse pointer around, that line is locked at that distance. Doesn't matter how far I move my cursor away from the line, is it stays locked in that location. But I can rotate it around in uh, any direction that I want it to. And so I'll go say to um, here. Okay. So I've now created that segment that's exactly the distance I wanted to. And now I'm going to go off and show you how I can do that and say I know the distance and the direction. So I'm going to right click, uh, again moving kind of off in the general uh, location and length I want the line to be. Choose distance and direction from the context menu. By the way, when you right click, this menu that pops up is considered a context menu. That's what it's called. And choose direction and distance. So now it's brought the direction and distance tool up. I can specify the direction. Uh, as we talked about in the slides, you can choose the method that you want to define that, whether it's a north azimuth, south azimuth, polar, or quadrant bearing. So let's change it to, say, a north azimuth. Now, again, it's going to populate a default value based on where you right-clicked from the last point. So this is going 65 degrees, 5 minutes, and 38 seconds in there. So, uh, again, if I want it to be exactly... 70 degrees. I'm just going to replace these values. I could just type 70 and hit enter and not fill in the, the minutes and seconds, but do that. And then again, specify my distance. I'll say 210 feet. Hit enter for those. And now it went ahead and drew that next segment exactly that bearing or that azimuth, I should say, at that distance. And of course, I can also singularly specify a specific direction by doing the same kind of thing by right-clicking, going direction, and again, specifying that direction. And I'm just going to accept this, uh, what it pulled in here by default, and hit Enter. Okay, so it's set that, that angle, that direction, it's locked in. So now I just have to specify the, the length. And so I could just click in the map, or if I wanted to, I could also right click and do distance. Again, specify it, hit enter, and there I'm done. And of course, to finish the sketch, I can either double click or hit F2. And there I've now drawn a polyline made up of multiple segments using each of those individual tools.